Come in. Sit. Hmm. Uh, Ursula, uh, th thank you. <clears throat> uh, it's about my eldest daughter, Ariel. And uh, most headstrong. Yes. Well, <clears throat> she has been communicating with humans. Uh, a human? Oh. oh! I don't see what's so funny about that. <clears throat> uh, I realize that perhaps I have been uh, too headstrong. Perhaps. <clears throat> well, yes, I have been. And despite it all, you might actually need to let her go and do the one thing you've always strictly forbidden. Yes. Yes, this is true. This is an opportunity for a great healing, Triton. Not just between a father and a daughter, but a great turning this world is badly needing. <clears throat> Ursula, can you give her legs? Legs. I can pay you anything you want. Your heart is pure, and your wish is from a true place of love. This beauty is payment enough. Well, yes, but, but if you can do this, uh, there must be something I can do for you. With the great changes of the seas, we cephalopods are overpopulating. Mm. Squid, jellyfish, cuttlefish, we can no longer feed our young. We cannot find housing. We are in our own crises. Mm. So, yes, there is something you can do. Twyton, we need home. Oh. Will you open your kingdom to us? <clears throat> this would require an even greater opening of your heart, King Triton, finding the love that not only connects you and your children, but that connects us all. Oh. Yes, I will open my kingdom. Perhaps Ariel can help us find a way to, to coexist in harmony. Take off your necklace. My, my shell? My, my dead wife gave this to me. It, it never leaves my heart. I know. That is why it holds the medicine for transformation. Oh. ready to give Ariel her deepest desire, legs, place it around her neck. She will become human and will need to get quickly to the surface to breathe. Deep bow of gratitude to you, Ursula. May this herald a great change in all our worlds. <clears throat> 